Hey everyone, Joshua Kirk here with you once again, and now it's time for a little update video basically going over what to expect out of my YouTube channel in uh, the current year. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to be talking about what to expect in 2023. Uh, so I've been on YouTube for a little while now, and uh, you know, as of uh, 2022, I've kind of uh, been in this uh, new mode where um, I would uh, do videos on this channel from time to time, but I just not quite as uh, pro prolifically as uh, I used to back then. Uh, so that's the whole reason why I made that uh, what to expect in 2022 video because I was uh, making some adjustments that were not necessarily radical, but still kind of significant, uh, especially given that I uh, felt it was important to address that I wouldn't be doing album reviews as often as I used to. And um, for 2023, I would say uh, kind of a similar thing, uh, that um, for, for album reviews, um, they're still going to happen from time to time when I truly feel uh, inspired to cover an album I've listened to, um, but it's going to be uh, something where, um, uh, given how busy I am uh, with uh, other things going on in life, uh, it's really important that I do it not just during uh, the time in which uh, I have enough you know, time to sit on an album, but also that uh, the, the product that I come out with um, feels authentic and you know doesn't feel phoned in like uh, like I actually uh, put you know my real like passion into it um, and and obviously you know uh, like I said in the update for last year you know I'm, I'm not scoring albums anymore or anything like that um, and yeah I have a feeling that uh, this new um, coming out with a little update at the beginning of the year is gonna be a bit of a routine thing I do every year given the uh, slight changes that uh, I'm making here on the channel um, so yeah I think I've fully addressed album reviews now the next thing I want to talk about is my album of the day podcast which if you've been paying attention to my channel for the last year or so you may have noticed that I didn't do any episodes of the album of the day podcast um, there are people I've reached out to, some of who have, you know, agreed to do it, um, but I haven't been able to do any interviews last year, which, I mean, it makes sense given that I was really busy and also um, given that everyone's pretty much touring again and they have stuff like that kind of taken over kind of their schedule, I understand that, uh, you know, uh, the, some of these artists uh, don't necessarily have time to do it. I mean, I really only started it just for fun, um, and, but still, I am hopeful that maybe this year I should be able to maybe do an interview or two, um, and I, given that, um, I'm graduating from a, a community college, um, in, in, in the spring, and, uh, I'm actually gonna get, uh, supposed to do an internship for, uh, Yep Rock Records, the, uh, independent record label out of North Carolina and stuff like that. Um, so I should have a little more leeway this year to be able to, uh, you know, do a podcast episode. Um, so yeah, I, so yeah, um, I just need all of you to be patient with me. I'm still interested in doing it. And, uh, I did have a lot of fun doing it those two times in 2021, but like, but yeah, just, yeah. Busy schedules are the reason why um, yeah, I haven't been able to do any, but uh, believe me, it'll be back eventually and maybe even better than before. Um, now, the next thing I want to uh, touch on is um, how I kind of uh, spread the word about my videos because um, I actually, um, a couple of days, just recently um, deleted Twitter from uh, my phone. Um, so that means, so because I've deleted Twitter, uh, that means, uh, I'm not planning on, like, tweeting really anymore, um, I mean, I have 
And I have used, like, Facebook as well as Twitter to, like, post and, like, spread the word about videos I've done, whether they be on my own channel or collab videos I've done uh, with my friend. Um, but, yeah, I, I think um, what I'm probably going to do is, um, I do have an Instagram account, by the way, and I will put a link down to that. Um, and I'm, what I think I may do is actually maybe use, like, the Instagram stories or stuff like that to, uh, post about links, um, to videos I've done, uh, which, this is something I've never done before, but, like, I have a feeling, you know, it might be, uh, it might be a pretty good, uh, replacement for, uh, you know, posting about stuff on, up on Twitter. Uh, cause, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much at a point where, you know, given, uh, you know, my issues with Twitter and, uh, you know, kind of, uh, how it's always been a, you know, a bit of a, uh, hellhole, in my opinion, like, I, I feel like, yeah, it, it would be, um, I just kind of figured, you know, why not just, you know, you know, get rid of the app and, uh, you know, n not have to, uh, deal with it anymore, so, so that's why, um, why, you know, I deleted it and also why I'm probably not gonna post on Twitter anymore, but, but, uh, but uh, believe me, you know, I will find a way to uh, spread the word about my videos that doesn't require me to, you know, use this platform. But now, speaking of uh, actual videos, um, now I want to get into kind of more the meat of uh, what I'm planning to do this year in terms of actual videos. Um, the first video I want to mention is uh, I actually have an idea for ranking an artist's discography, um, and uh, it's for a band that, um, if you've been following me as of like 2013, which is like, god, 10 years ago, which makes me feel old, um, <clears throat> you may recognize the band as uh, they're a band I used to cover pretty often uh, on this channel. Um, I'm not going to spoil who it is, but... I'm really looking forward to, you know, ranking their albums um, and kind of seeing which opinions uh, st have remained consistent and which ones have changed. Uh, uh, but yeah, considering, you know, it was 10 years ago that I started to cover this band, you know, my perspective on some of their stuff definitely has changed a little bit as I've, as I've gotten older. Um, Another video that I'm thinking about doing uh, is actually another list video, which is actually going to be my first ever redux of a past year-end list. Um, for this video, I'm going to be doing a redux of my top 50 albums of 2020, which 2020 was kind of a significant year for this channel in that um, I, I mean, first off, you know, it was the first year that I finally had an editor working on my videos, um, and, uh, and, and I just kind of felt like, you know, it would make sense, uh, for me to just do kind of a, you know, sort of a re, kind of a revamped version of my favorite albums of, uh, 2020, especially since, um, there are some albums from that year that I actually got, didn't really get into until after I did that list, and, uh, there's even some albums that I did listen to uh, that year, but have grown on me over time, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, kind of looking at this year, looking at that year with kind of a uh, fresh perspective, uh, and also, yeah, kind of a uh, slightly uh, revised one at that, and, and it makes, and it makes a lot of sense for me to do this anyway, because, you know, 2020 wasn't that too long ago, and it's still, I think, kind of fresh in the mind to a degree, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really, uh, looking forward to, uh, uh, doing that video, because, uh, you know, as chaotic, chaotic of a year 2020 was, it did offer a lot of killer albums, uh, a lot of amazing music, um, so, yeah, I'm happy to, you know, dive into some of those albums again. But now, last thing I want to talk about in this video is actually n not really about videos, um, but it's more about just kind of where I'm at personally and everything, which is, um, 
I'm doing really well, actually. Like, I, um, I, I, have, a fe I have a feeling, you know, I'm coming into, uh, you know, this new year uh, with a very, like, <clears throat> optimistic state of mind. And uh, also, um, 2022 has actually legit been one of the better years of my life in recent years. Um, like, yeah, it's probably, you know, probably the ha happiest I've, I've been since, uh, uh, pre-COVID, uh, cause, uh, <clears throat> cause, uh, even though I did, I've all, throughout my life, I've always had a kind of optimistic attitude, like, even during, you know, the toughest times, but, like, <clears throat> but I feel like now that, you know, we're kind of out of the pandemic, at least for now, um, it's, uh, now I have a feeling that, um, things are kind of, like, getting back on track, and, uh, and my mental health is in a really good place, uh, right now as well, um, <clears throat> as well, and, uh, even though I haven't been doing as many videos as I've done in the past, um, I've just been enjoying life, and, uh, I've even gotten a few, like, IRL opportunities that, um, I maybe didn't have quite as much of in the first two years of this decade, like, this decade, um, and yeah, I definitely, I'm glad that I chose to, uh, kind of put videos off to the side for a little bit, uh, cause, you know, you know, I definitely, uh, felt it was important that I avoid burnout, uh, for sure, even though I, clearly, I love making videos for you guys, that's why I continue to keep making content and be on here, uh, for sure, um, and I've also had fun making some collaborative videos with my friend Brian on his channel, Channel BK. I'll drop a link in the description to um, hit that channel so you can watch some of the videos we made last year. We did four episodes of What's on Repeat, the new music podcast we do that, yeah, I've really enjoyed, been, I've really enjoyed doing that the last couple of years. Um, and also we did a couple episodes of Rankum. Uh, where we ranked um, two artist discographies. We ranked um, Kendrick Lamar albums and Elliott Smith albums. And uh, those I, I had a lot of fun doing as well. Um, um, <clears throat> and yeah, I've just been, uh, you know, I, I've had a really good 2022. And I'm really hoping, you know, for the same in 2023 in terms of kind of where I'm at <clears throat> personally, and also in terms of, uh, you know, the quality of albums this year, because 2022, man, I still can't get over how incredible of a year that was uh, for music, like, even some of the records that didn't quite make it on my list uh, were still, like, maybe even better than uh, some of the just good albums from 2021. And yeah, I think that's, uh, that about covers everything I wanted to highlight. Um, I'm really <clears throat> excited for uh, what I'm going to be doing this year, um, and this year, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys are excited to see whatever content I come out with, um, and, you know, I just want to say thank you to all of you for, uh, you know, for, like, being there on this journey and, like, supporting me all this time, like, you know, as, you know, the channel has evolved from one you know, time to the next, I, a lot, there's been some of you who have stuck with me, and also thank you to everyone who may have only just found out about my channel, like, two years ago, or a year ago, or heck, even like a day, or even like a week ago, you know, if you just stumbled upon <clears throat> my videos, um, and, uh, yeah, um, it, and, you know, feel free to, uh, you know, if you have any questions about anything, or, you know, if you have a bit of feedback for me, uh, just, uh, you know, post it in the comments and let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear, uh, you know, what your, to, to what your take is, and, uh, I've, I just continue to enjoy making YouTube videos, and, uh, yeah, and you guys, uh, and guys are part of the reason for it. I mean, obviously, the most important thing about what I'm doing is I'm actually passionate about it, and this is like, you know, authentic to who I am, but but also, yeah, because of uh, you guys, the fans, continuing to just, yeah, yeah, like, 
make us support me and uh, you know just give me all kinds of you know amazing feedback for what I'm doing and uh, yeah I, I think that's about all I gotta say this is Joshua Kirk signing off <laughs>